Well, hello and welcome to Blue Lie Day 15. I gotta do it three times, right? 15. Um, I am vlogging a little bit later. It's about a quarter to five. I need to go pick up my grandparents because my mom is hosting a little gathering at her place. Since my Aunt Marlene is in town, all of the brothers and sisters are getting together. And since I am part of the family, I have been invited too. So I need to go pick up my grandma and grandpa. We're gonna head over to my mom's place and then I'll take a bunch of footage there, show off what we're doing. I think we're gonna eat like a really light dinner and I think I'm gonna take my parent grandparents back to their assisted living facility. I'm not sure if I'm taking them back or somebody, I mean, it depends on when they wanna go and then like when I wanna go because there's a bunch of other people there that have vehicles, so. And we're all like in the same area, so. Anyways, I need to call them while I'm on my way and let them know I'm on my way. So let's go have some family time. So here is the food for the oh, yeah. casual dinner situation. So how are you, my dear? Oh, look at that. That's Ron's plate. Oh. So far. So far. I'm, so far. I'm going after some sweets. <laughs> yes. Look at that. You just get those uh, like at look Easter at and then you get lilies and then you just plant them and then they, they're here. I, I, these are an inheritance from mother. Look at the yellow ones. Just, these are pretty. Did you get these like? Yeah, the white ones and the and the one in here now. That was Easter lilies that the church gave us. But aren't those pretty? They are pretty. Yeah. They turned out really nice. All right, so I'm at my parents' house. Everyone is outside. Oh, my grandma's coming in. <laughs> oh, I want to get my purse. I think it's time for us to go home. Ah, gotcha. I had to come inside because of all the bugs. Because you know, skin problems. But just took everyone's photo, which. I will insert a photo here so you can see everybody that was here. So that's just like my mom's side of the family. My dad is not here right now. He went to go see his brother or something. I think they went out to dinner or whatever. So, but uh, my grandma just popped in and said, I think it's time to go. So I need to drive them back. So I am gonna do that real quick. And um, my grandma and grandpa are gonna come over to my place tomorrow. So maybe I'll vlog them a little bit over there. And uh, I'll let you know what I'm doing at my place too because I haven't really like talked about what I had been doing all day. I've been doing some organization um, like I talked about in the vlog yesterday. It's like 8 o'clock and yeah, <laughs> I've, got, I've got stuff I gotta take care of. You know what I mean, you guys? But anyway, that's it from my favorite parent's place. And I will check in with you when I get to my favorite place, my house. I am back at home and look. I've got pickles. <laughs> Funny story about the pickles. I had told my mom to like look through the pantry, look through the fridge, anything that was mine that she would eat, just leave it there and then I'll buy new stuff. And then anything she didn't want, you know, she would just bring it over. So she brought over some of the refrigerated stuff and some of the pantry items, but she found three jars of pickles. One is opened by the way. This one's opened. And she's like, oh my gosh, I just noticed there's so many pickles. Are those yours? I'm like, yeah, I just figured you would eat them because you didn't bring them over. And so when I was over there today, she's like, here's all your pickles back. I'm like, thanks. So now I'm stocked up on pickles. These are all the dill spears. Um, I was having a conversation with my aunt and she was talking about bread and butter pickles, which, ew, and no. So I like a good dill pickle. <laughs> like. I like a good hamburger dill pickle. All right, so now my fridge is stocked full of pickles. Ah, oh, yeah. So we had a little bit of a pickle party. <laughs> and now I'm back. Oh, let me show you what I've been working on all day. I'm kind of at like a little bit of a halt in the organization today. I'm just like not feeling 100% motivated anymore, but I'll show you my progress. So this is not the finished product or anything, but I do finally have some of my makeup in here and then essentially this is like all my extra makeup or things I don't wear on a daily basis and then when I was going through this I actually posted a photo on Instagram this is all my stuff that's like either all used up or almost used up or things I don't like absolutely love anymore or like this is expired just like unused and unloved things that need to go in the trash, so I need to do that. I busted this guy out, hello. <laughs> um, but I need to get some batteries for this because it doesn't work right now, but I do have two lights right here that work just fine. 
Ta-da, let there be light. And then um, I have my makeup brushes and my setting spray. And then I don't really have a use for this anymore, so I don't know. This doesn't really go in here, but I just had it in there. And then I've just been kind of like cleaning as I'm going. This probably won't stay here either. I don't know. I'm kind of like, I'm at a little bit of a wall right now to like figure this out. And behind me is all of my like clear organizers from the container store from many, many years ago that I purchased them. They're very expensive, especially when you buy a lot of them all at once, but I've kind of accumulated them over the years. But that's where I'm at in terms of organizing today. I think I'm just gonna like call it for the night for the organization and just pick up with it tomorrow because yeah, um, actually I need to bring this stuff downstairs so I can put that in the permanent file as I like to call it. So yeah, I don't know, I'm just, kind of been hitting a little bit of a wall with the organization. I think I feel that way just because there's just so much to do still and I just feel like that overwhelming feeling like mm. like I completely understand that it's gonna feel like so good when I finally finish the organizational projects that I have going on but like while it's happening I don't know I just feel like this permanent state of overwhelm while it's happening. Does anyone else, like, do, do you guys feel that way sometimes? Like, I have a vision of what I wanna do, but I can't really complete it, especially with the desk, because I'm missing these bars hold up, like, hanging files. I don't know where they are, they just are not in my possession any longer, and um, they just, I think they just got lost in the move. I don't know, maybe they got tossed, I have no idea. So I need to go to the hardware store and get some, like, cut to the size, which will be fine. But I need to put up some like hanging files in the, in one of the drawers. So that's gonna be like more of an office-y thing. So I think I'm gonna shoot the video like I normally would, cause I already pre-filmed like the before and then I'll do the after, but the after won't be with all the office stuff. It'll just be like my vanity essential organization. But once I get those metal bars back in my vanity, as well as, um, like the hanging files and stuff ordered because I don't have the hanging files. I just have like regular, almost like manila envelopes, but they're not manila envelopes. They're from Erin Condren because, you know, why not? <laughs> um, so yeah, I will um, end up doing a totally dedicated video on my office organization and how I, you know, do that. But I don't know, I just get like so overwhelmed with all of the stuff. And I'm actually really glad that some of that makeup that I was playing with earlier, uh, the stuff that's like legit, whoop, whoop, right in that little bucket, can go away because, you know, you always think when you move, like, oh, I, I downsized, I downsized. And then you realize, I didn't downsize. Um, I mean, I did, you know, either recycle things or toss things or give things away to friends, but once you actually look at it and you're like, am I ever gonna actually use this? And if the answer was no, like it went in the bin. And there, there isn't a ton of stuff in the bin, but there's some stuff that I've had for like a really long time. Or like some of the foundations, there's like not even like a full face of foundation in there. I don't know why I kept the damn thing. And to be honest, I don't even really use those foundations anymore or I haven't for like, I don't know, since I lived in Fargo. <laughs> so I'm just like, you know what? I would just rather not keep those because I know I'm not going to reach for them. That's the thing. And yes, I like paid money for them and whatever, but I, I'm not reaching for them. So just, I would rather not keep something, you know, like I know when my foundation is out that I currently have, I already have a backup of another brand that I really like, but like, I'm just going to go buy that brand again because I really like it and it works well for me and it's the right tone and the right shade and it stays on all day and I don't have too many issues with it. And you know, it's just easy. So I don't know. I feel like sometimes my life is consumed with stuff and I don't like that feeling. And I think I have that feeling really bad right now because I just moved so I've had to like touch literally every single thing that I own it's kind of an overwhelming feeling I don't know if you guys feel overwhelmed when you move um, not by the sure fact of moving but like where to put all the things like that's the overwhelming part for me it's like oh I don't know where to put all my stuff you know how's it gonna fit into my life and is it useful anymore <sighs> I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling. Sorry guys, but it is already 8.30. This day has just flown by. 
like crazy. I think what I'm gonna do, because we had kind of a late, not late, but like a light dinner, um, it was just, I think I showed the vlog. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So I just had a little bit, I showed my uncle's plate actually. He wasn't even like done putting all the stuff on his plate, but I had a, like one scoop of the tuna noodle salad, some strawberries, and then I had um, some of the, like one of the cupcake things. I don't like frosting that much, but I did eat that frosting because it was like regular frosting. The frosting I don't like is like more of that Cool Whip frosting, which oh, I can't stand Cool Whip, whipped cream, any of that stuff but I wanna show you what the Doyle dog's been doing. So I'm at the top of the stairs, and this is what the Doyle's been doing. Hi, buddy. Oh, hello. Can I, can I help you? It's okay, you can eat your, eat, your, eat your treat. Here you go, good job. Whoa, whoa. This is probably as active as the vlog has ever seen the dog. <laughs> but, Anyway, Doyle's been like really stressed out today, probably because I've been like moving from the bathroom, which is right there, to here, and like kind of interchanging things and moving stuff around all day. So he's been kind of stressed out. He was just kind of like sitting up on the loft area and sitting in my bed and just kind of like crying and whining all day, probably because that isn't my norm. Normally, I'm sitting down in the kitchen on my laptop or something like just pretty stationary. So when I'm moving around a lot and doing things that he's not used to, he doesn't really like it. So I think he just gets a little stressed out. But he's fine now. No worries, he's fine now. And he's having all the fun with this bone. And this is um, that red barn bone I showed, gosh, maybe like a week ago. He's still got like over half of it left. But like I said in that original <laughs> vlog, he kind of keeps them around for a while, but he likes to fight with them because he's an odd little doggy. But yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a night here. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna hang out. I think I'm gonna watch maybe an episode of Scandal because that's always exciting. I watched one episode this morning, which was very, very nice. Um, so I watched an episode of Scandal before I kind of got my day started and edited and uploaded and um, you know, did stuff around the house and did the dishes and you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it quits for now. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. And um, tomorrow my grandparents are coming over to my home for the first time, so I wanna get some stuff kind of cleaned up. Um, they're going to church and then they're going out to eat afterwards, so they always you know, go out to like a brunch kind of a thing and then they'll be over after that. So I'm assuming they'll be over like, you know, 12, one o'clock, somewhere in there. So I'm hoping that I can get my plan with me done in the morning, like once I wake up, I can just get my plan with me over with and um, then just kind of pick up from there. Cause really a lot of the mess that I have is just planner stuff just sitting out because I know I'm gonna use it. So it's kind of that mentality of like, why make the bed if I'm just gonna get back in there tonight? You know, like, I don't know. I don't really make my bed, but I just kind of like put the covers on the top and just kind of like messily do it. Unless I know I'm gonna have people over. So I'll make my bed and stuff too. Um, so yeah, but that's kind of what's going on for tomorrow. And then I'm gonna keep organizing and keep working on these projects. These projects don't need to be finished in any kind of like timely manner because I have like a ton of pre-filming that I've already done for my Wednesday videos because that's when these videos are going up is on my Wednesdays because Monday's plan with me and Friday's typically financial. So yeah, um, I've got a lot, <laughs> a lot of videos. So I think I'm like five weeks ahead right now. Like it's kind of insane for, for Wednesdays only. So, and then um, I've got other things that I want to do with some of my Wednesday videos too. So I might double up some of them. Maybe, I don't, I don't know but I've got like planner related videos that I wanna do that aren't planned with me and stuff like that as well. So I don't know. I took a poll last week, or was it this? I think it was actually this week. It was a few days ago. And hello, no pop, thank you. <laughs> um, asking if you guys wanted to see a planner related video or a organization video on Wednesday and overwhelmingly it was organization, but some of you guys wanted to see the planner video. So I don't know, I might just put up two that day. Or maybe I'll do like one on Thursday. I don't know, I don't know, I'll figure that out. Um, because I'm just so far ahead. Because, and I, and I know I'm gonna keep having more things happen because like this upcoming week, my bed is coming for my guest room. So I'm gonna do like a guest room tour. Obviously the guest room won't stay exactly the same because I'm gonna do some things to it. Um, but you know, like 
first guest comes and that's what the room looks like. And then I'll just like do updates as I go. It's a lot, but it feels good to be pretty far ahead with the filming situation. So anyway, I'm rambling on. Sorry, this is like a really rambly vlog today. <laughs> but I am gonna jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a good old thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe if you would like, and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next vlog. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, or are having a wonderful weekend, because you guys will see this on Sunday. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye guys.